Are you to get scared and sell when the market is down, investor? Trust me, I personally know about this. That used to be me, panic sellers. Uh, my, my, my name is Obina Seeker, and I used to be a panic seller. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome. I'm Chima. I'm Obina. And we're the Seeker Bros. This channel is all about business, finance, and wealth building. So if you like any of that, give us a like and subscribe. Share with your friends. In our last video on why you should invest right now, we said we was gonna make a video on questions you should ask yourself before you start investing. And this is that video. So let's get right to it. Question number one, what is your comfort zone? Now, before you take any big risks using your money, ask yourself, do I need this money? Will I need this money soon? Now, if you need the money within the next three to five years, you probably shouldn't invest it. The stock market is a roller coaster, and unless you're really skilled, it's only meant for those who are ready to enjoy the ride. Now, my personal rule of thumb, when you're starting off, or if you just don't have that much capital, don't invest more than what you're willing to lose. This is actually very important. You don't want to lose your entire savings. This is not a day in the life of a gambler at a casino. So the next question is, how much volatility can you handle? Are you to get scared and sell when the market is down, investor? Trust me, I personally know about this. That used to be me, panic sellers. Uh, my, my, my name is Obina Seeker. And I used to be a panic seller. Can you handle seeing your investments go up and shoot back down faster than Bitcoin in 2017? Or will this give you heartaches? All of this is just to say, invest in assets that your pockets or health can handle. The reason why this is important because while you may be enthusiastic about specific stocks like Apple and Tesla, you're probably better off in safer options such as mutual funds and ETFs. We'll explain more about those in a later video. The next critical question you should ask yourself, do you like research? This is actually very important. I feel like a lot of people in our generation, they they want to be in the know, but they really don't want to be in the know. They don't do what it takes to be in the know. They want to know without, yeah, doing what it takes to be in the know. If you don't like to do your own research, if you don't like to read, if you're not even a little bit inquisitive about the stocks you're trying to buy in, stock market probably isn't for you, at least individual stocks. And no, your Instagram feed is not your form of research. Our fourth question is, what are your goals for this investment? Goals are everything. Have a goal on your investment to stay committed for a certain time frame. Just see how that works out for you. This will also help you be less of an impulse buyer and seller by setting a little bit of time goals as well. There are many different investment strategies and depending on the strategy you choose will dictate how long you should invest for. So remember, goals equal discipline. Now the fifth point is, what is the cost to buy, sell, and hold your investment? There are opportunity costs for all of these actions. For example, if you buy, you don't have that money at your disposal anymore. If you hold, you have your money wrapped up in another investment and you can't really touch it or move it to a different investment. And if you sell, you may be making a profit or you could be making a loss, but you could, no matter what, be making more. So you never actually know what the potential is. I think I'm gonna have to take that sell option. Why? I need that money for brunch. Well, of course. Now, speaking of cost, the platform in which you trade on is actually pretty important. Some brokers actually charge you a fee per transaction. Fortunately, platforms like Robinhood don't do that. And also, Robinhood also gives you one free stock if you use the link in the description down below. So there you have it, guys. Some quick questions to ask yourself before you dive into the underworld and risk your whole life on your investments. Now, remember, we are not financial advisors. But if there is anything we would advise you to do, is to not panic and to do your research mm -hmm. and to smash the like button. Destroy it. Yes. Subscribe too for more content. So once again, I'm Obina. I'm Chima. And we are the Asika Bros. This channel is all about business, finance, and wealth building. If you liked what you saw in this video, give it a like. And if you loved it, hit that subscribe button. And if you really, really loved it, hit that notification bell. And then share. Oh yeah, definitely share. Sharing is good. All right, we out. Peace.